Peggy Lipton held a childhood trauma she couldn't wish away. From the shadow of abuse she endured as a child at the hands of her uncle to her final days haunted by cancer, her life wasn't as glitzy as it seemed. In the streets of Hollywood, where fame and fortune often blinded stars, Peggy Lipton emerged as a captivating puzzle. Her youthful charm and undeniable talent made her a darling of the entertainment world. Join us as we venture into hidden depths of Peggy Lipton's life story, followed by never-before-seen photos of the star herself. Peggy was born Margaret Ann Lipton into a well-to-do Jewish family in New York City on August 30, 1946. She was the daughter of Rita Benson, an artist, and Harold Lipton, a corporate lawyer. Lipton was raised on Long Island with her brothers Robert, who became an actor, and Kenneth. Peggy Lipton had a tough childhood with strict rules, leaving her lonely most of the time. She became fond of her uncle at a young age, but he, in turn, became abusive and mistreated her. This trauma made her a nervous and withdrawn child, causing her to develop a severe stutter that at times rendered her unable to say her own name. At 14, Peggy Lipton's journey in the entertainment world began when her father helped her land modeling jobs in New York, and her mom encouraged her to take acting lessons. At just 15 years old, she became a model at the Ford Agency in New York and had a successful start to her career. At the age of 18, young Peggy began using drugs to alleviate her depression. In 1964, her family relocated to Los Angeles, where she was introduced and started exploring meditation and yoga. Peggy went on to sign a contract with Universal Pictures and her television debut came at the age of 19 in the NBC sitcom The John Forsey Show. Over the next few years, she would appear in episodes of various popular shows of the 60s like Bewitched, The Virginian, The Invaders, The Road West, The Alfred Hitchcock Hour, and she also had a role in Disney's Mosby's Marauders in 1967, where she co-starred alongside a young Court Russell. However, Peggy Lipton is best known for her role in The Mod Squad, where she played one of a trio of undercover hippie cops in Los Angeles. She portrayed Julie Barnes, a character described as a canary with a broken wing. This role earned her four Emmy Award nominations and four Golden Globe Award nominations, and in 1971, she won a Golden Globe Award for Best TV Actress in a Drama. Her look in the show, with her thin frame, long straight ash blonde hair, and stylish outfits, including miniskirts and bell bottoms, made her a fashion icon and a symbol of the hip culture of her era. Peggy Lipton also tried her hand at singing, and three of her singles even made it onto the Billboard charts. Stony End was one of them, reaching number 121 on the bubbling under Hot 100 chart in 1968. Another hit was Lou in 1970, and both of these songs were written by Laura Nyro. Her album titled Peggy Lipton was released in 1968 under Ode Records. In addition to her singing career, Peggy Lipton and Quincy Jones collaborated with Alan and Marlon Bergman to co-write the hit song LA Is My Lady for Frank Sinatra in 1984. During the height of her musical success, Peggy Lipton briefly dated Paul McCartney. She also had a stint with other notable figures like Terrence Stamp, the British actor known for his roles in films like The Collector and Superman during the late 1960s, and Elvis Presley, the king of rock and roll with whom the details of the relationship remain private. After five years on Mob Squad, during which she and her co-stars were constantly occupied, the weight of fame consumed Peggy. While fame brought excitement, there was a downside. Peggy felt burnt out and became increasingly uncomfortable with the attention from the media, leading to her withdrawal and her growing more insecure as time passed. In 1969, Peggy met musician and producer Quincy Jones on a friend's boat in the Bahamas. Quincy was 14 years her senior and was still married to Ola Jones. Peggy Lipton later revealed that the first time she met him, she felt an inexplicable connection to him, and she knew she wanted him to be her husband and wanted to start a family with him. However, they only met again nearly two years after he had divorced his second wife, and they married in 1974. After the Mod Squad, Peggy took a 15-year break from full-time acting to focus on raising a family. In that time, she raised her two children, Kadada and Rashida Jones. Kadada was born in March 1974 and Rashida was born in February 1976. Lipton also explored her interests in health and wellness. It was a period of relative seclusion and personal growth for her, as she stayed away from the public eye except for her appearance in the made-for-TV movie The Return of the Mod Squad in 1979. Because of her decision to take a break from the spotlight, Peggy shared a close bond with her daughters, Rashida and Kadada, who followed in her footsteps to pursue careers in the entertainment industry. On the outside, 
Peggy Lipton and Quincy Jones seemed to have it all, yet the demands of their respective careers and the pressures of celebrity life took a toll on their relationship. It was a relationship often marked by the ebb and flow of the entertainment world, where the spotlight shifted from one partner to the other. In 1986, after more than a decade of marriage, the couple decided to part ways. Their divorce marked the end of a chapter in both of their lives, but it did not diminish their profound impact on each other and the entertainment industry. Despite the end of their marriage, Peggy and Quincy maintained mutual respect and friendship. In March 1988, she returned to television as the star of an ABC movie titled Addicted to His Love. She regained significant attention for her portrayal of Norma Jennings in David Lynch's TV series Twin Peaks and continued to appear in various TV shows. In 2017, she reprised her role as Norma Jennings in the Twin Peaks revival and appeared in an episode of Angie Tribeca, playing the mother of the title character portrayed by her daughter Rashida Jones. In 2004, Peggy was diagnosed with colon cancer, a diagnosis that brought with it both physical and emotional challenges, like many individuals confronting a severe illness. Peggy approached her health struggle with determination and a commitment to fighting the disease. She underwent medical treatments, including surgery and chemotherapy, in her quest for recovery. In her public statements about her battle with cancer, Peggy aimed to raise awareness about the importance of early detection and regular screenings for colon cancer. She used her own experience to encourage others to prioritize their health and seek medical attention when needed. While her struggle with illness was undoubtedly difficult, she continued to live life to the fullest, cherishing moments with her family and friends. Her positive outlook and determination to make the most of each day inspired all who knew her. In 2005, Peggy Lipton embarked on a deeply personal journey as she co-authored a memoir of her life titled Breathing Out. Collaborating with writers David and Coco Dalton, Peggy bravely opened the pages of her past, sharing the intimate details of her life as a Hollywood it girl. The book was a candid exploration of Peggy's experiences in the spotlight and behind closed doors. Within its pages, she confronted the personal stories and gossip that had swirled around her legacy for years. It touched upon the highs and lows, the triumphs and tribulations, and the unspoken struggles that had defined her journey. On May 11, 2019, Peggy Lipton bid farewell to the world she had graced with her talent and charisma. Her death at 72 was a moment of profound sadness for her family, friends, and fans. In the wake of her passing, tributes poured in from across the entertainment industry, celebrating her contributions to film, television, and music. Peggy Lipton was laid to rest in a private ceremony surrounded by the love of her family. While the exact details of her burial remain private, her legacy endures in the hearts and memories of those who cherished her work and admired her for the authenticity and grace she brought to her art and life. Today, the legacy of Peggy lives on, not just in her iconic roles on screen, but in the courage with which she faced life.